Coming up on Mountain News this morning, Governor Bashir wants Kentuckians to stay prepared as more severe weather heads our way. And one organization is planning to open a boys and girls club in eastern Kentucky. Dedicated to eastern and southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Madison Carmouche. We are coming up on 6 a.m. on May 8th. Hard to believe we're already here. Let's check in with meteorologist Tim Drawbridge on this first alert weather day. And time is certainly flying by, Madison. Hi, everyone. A good Wednesday to you. It is indeed a first alert weather day again here on WYMT. And good reason. We've got a level three enhanced risk for severe weather across all of eastern and southern Kentucky. Not only that, but a flash flood risk as well. Damaging thunderstorm wind gust potential at a minimum with the flash flood risk. Can't rule out the potential for some large hail or a few tornadoes as well late this afternoon into tonight. All modes on the table. And again, that time frame heading through the dinner hour as the sun is setting, the most concerning today. 68 last check outside our door here at WYMT and temps are all basically mid upper 60s into the lower 70s, a little bit warmer toward Pulaski and Wayne counties. Good intense downpour coming into Pikeville right now. Looking a little peculiar, so maybe some good gusts of wind, especially since it coincides right now with that outflow boundary that continues to track closer toward Hazard and northern portions of Perry County. Good bursts of wind, maybe some spinning drops, some heavier bursts of rain, Boonville back toward McKee. All right, that's the close-up of what's coming into Pikeville. More about the radar coming up in just a few moments. Madison? Tim, thank you. State leaders are asking you to stay safe with more storms on the way. They ask you to have a plan in place to get to a shelter or know where to go in your home. They also ask if you have a weather radio to have it alert you to changing conditions. You're also encouraged to stay off the roads during the severe weather. Governor Bashir says Kentucky is ready to respond to emergencies with the weather. We've activated our emergency operations center. Uh, we have all the different cabinets and groups that come in. We will be ready to go. State leaders ask if you find yourself on a road that you do not drive through high waters or over downed power lines. You should also slow down during high winds. Kentuckians are preparing to head to the polls for the May primary. There are races on the ballot besides the presidential election. Kentucky's six U.S. House of Representatives seats are up for grabs this year. All 100 seats in the state House of Representatives will also be on the ballot. And residents in odd-numbered Senate districts will be able to vote for their preferred state Senate candidate. Kentucky's primary will take place on May 21st. The Foundation for Appalachia, Kentucky is continuing to make plans for the Boys and Girls Club in Perry County. The nonprofit has been working for the past six months to secure funding for the project. Community Engagement Officer Zach Hall says the club is something community members have been asking for. Hall says they are working to find a director and hope to open the club soon. We'll uh, do interviews and, and hire that director position. Uh, probably sometime in June um, and then we'll work over the summer to um, you know finalize our location plans and, and do any work that needs to be done before the start of the school year and we, and we hope to, to be off the ground and running by August. Hall says they have not yet determined where the club would meet. This year marked the 52nd WSGS Senior Citizens Radio Day in Hazard. Senior Citizens Radio Day is a fundraiser for the elderly of Hazard Perry County. Director of Hazard Perry County Senior Citizens Renee Baker had her first experience with Radio Day and she says her favorite part is the opportunity to hear stories from others. Talking about the seniors and talking about all the stuff that's around here that helps the seniors because they need all the help that they can get. This year, this year's Radio Day raised $13,000. Kentucky American Water representatives are using this week to recognize the efforts made by many to ensure people have good quality water coming out of their tap. 
Representatives say they serve about half a million people in portions of 14 counties, including two counties, two in our area, Jackson and Rock Castle. They say this week they're highlighting the importance of safe drinking water and the 50th anniversary of the Safe Drinking Water Act. And that was really landmark legislation that established standards that all water utilities must follow in order to deliver safe drinking water to the public. Susan Lancho with Kentucky Amer American Water says the U.S. EPA is always looking at emerging contaminants that may come down the pipe in the future. She says their team tests the water in their plant in their treatment plants 24-7. And a good Wednesday to you. First alert day here in WIMT. Temperature-wise, nothing to complain about. Maybe a little bit too warm, feeling too damp, a little humid. But hey, take this versus later this afternoon, right? And then upper 60s, lower 70s, as warm as 72, 74, respectively. Somerset back toward Monticello. Here's the pinpoint Doppler radar. We're going to go out toward Prestonsburg and Pikeville. We're also going to take our way out toward Liberty and Monticello. Want to point out this green line here, rather distinct, maybe some spitting raindrops, but still it's a outflow boundary that we've been tracking since coming into the newscast, coming into northern portions of Perry County right now. Some intense rainfall leaving Prestonsburg, tracking into central and northern portions of Pike County. And then we have this intense cell coming into northern portions of Wayne County, Monticello North, with some heavier bursts of rain that have been tracking basically along and just north of the Hell Rogers there in northern portions of Pulaski County. All right, again, we deal with this wave this morning, a break, and then we keep an eye closely on the radar later this afternoon to tonight. That's the more potent wave and a high today in hazard to 85. More about the first alert seven day forecast and another look at the radar coming up in just a few moments. Madison. All right, thank you, Tim, and thank you for joining us on Mountain News this morning. More news is on the way. When we return, Stormy Daniels takes the stand in former President Donald Trump's New York criminal trial.